Mrival joining us on this broadcast. Thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. We've just had uh, a word coming in from the Supreme Court. The decision is that the ban needs to be lifted in West Bengal. But the TMC says that uh, it was an informed decision that the Chief Minister had taken because for her, the security and safety of the state was important and there was nothing wrong in it. See, again, I will repeat myself that it was not about anyone's security. It was about appeasement of a particular community which Mamata Banerjee practices each and every time. She gives a, a separate place to this one particular community. That is uh, all that uh, she had uh, done all this for and nothing else behind this. Because if she is worried about the law and order situation, you see every day there are bomb blasts in West Bengal. Only day before yesterday, nine people killed in bomb blasts. And this was for the you know fourth time in the same place. But their factory license was not cancelled. And here you are trying to ban a film which uh, the censor board had approved. So I will say that uh, the Supreme Court has uh, given up a very, very good decision in the favour of the people, the viewers, because they have the right to see what they wish to see. Mr. Breval, do stay on with me because TMC is Bisarji Deb also joining us on this broadcast. Thank you so much for speaking with us, sir, here. And if you heard what the BJP uh, spokesperson had to say, Priyanka Tibreval says that this is uh, nothing but hypocrisy. You see, first of all, I would like to say that this particular film is basically based on distorted facts. And it had the potential to incite violence. And that's the reason why the government decided to prohibit this particular film from being exhibited in Bengal. There would have been, you see, sufficient reasons, there are sufficient reasons why Bengal government decided to prohibit this particular film. But since the Honorable Supreme Court has directed that the ban should not be implemented, so we have to obey the order of the implement the order of the Honorable Apex Court. Sure. The order of the Honorable Apex Court will definitely be complied with. But, you see, the question of law and order is a state subject. And the state, if it considers necessary that there might be a law and order problem if a film is being exhibited, the state government has got the right to do it. Sure. But Mr. But Dave, now, uh, the state government... Order, but now since there is an order of the Supreme Court, the film will be exhibited. Sure. But now you see the, the consequences. Now if something happens, now who will take the responsibility? The state would, sir. It's the state's responsibility. Pardon me? The state would be responsible, sir, if there is an untoward incident because law no, and no, order no, is no. a the state, state will be responsible. The state will, the state will definitely take all steps but you see, there is provocation from BJP. From each and every day, there is provocation from BJP. And this is happening everywhere. It is happening everywhere. The entire state, wherever wherever there is a law and order problem, wherever there is a uh, problem with regard to law and order, you see that the BJP people, they are trying to incite violence. And their politics is a politics of division. A division between religion. So this is what exactly Mamta Banerjee wants to stop. And that is why the state government has taken a call to ban this particular film. Now since the Supreme Court has ordered for exhibiting this particular film mm. in Bengal, it will be done. Sure. But Mr. Dave, you said... The order of, but Mr. Dave, you the say that the uh, there were several instances, uh, there was intel, uh, intelligence as far as the state government is concerned, also of uh, what kind of instances had happened and what could happen. But the court has come out and said today, the CGI has observed this, see, that prima facie, there of the view, so let me finish. Intelligence so let me finish, let me finish. In, there, Please there indulge me, sir, let me finish support. my question. The CGI has said that prima facie, we are of the view that the prohibition by West Bengal is not tenable on the basis of the material that was placed before them. So if you're saying that there was intel that things could go haywire, that the situation could deteriorate, did then the state government not ensure that that evidence was placed on record because the Supreme Court today said that the, the material that was placed before them wasn't enough for this ban to be put in place? What, what material has been placed before the court, I cannot comment on that. But I can say that the state government had intelligence inputs wherein uh, there was a specific feedback that if this film is being exhibited, there might be a lot of problems. So that is why the state government took a call to 
prohibit this particular film. And now since the Supreme Court has passed an order, the order of the Honorable Apex Court will be complied with. But you see, what we are trying to say is this, BJP is always trying to divide people on the basis of religion. And this is the politics of BJP, and this is what they were trying to do based on this Kerala story. They had a specific agenda. The distributors, the producers, they had a specific agenda. So that is where the state government wanted to stop them. But now since there is an order of the court, we have to comply with it. Sure. Sure, Mr. Bisuji Dev, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. It's not a setback. There was intelligence uh, that uh, was put on record. But unfortunately for uh, the West Bengal government, the ban has to now be lifted. Uh, prima facie, there's no evidence to show that there could have been any deterioration in law and order is what the Supreme Court has also come out and now said. The BJP though says that uh, this is nothing but uh, politics of uh, appeasement by the ruling TMC. They also call this hypocrisy. The political war of words only continues, but what is coming out of the Supreme Court is extremely crucial. The freedom of expression uh, argument that is put forth in, any, in many of these cases was put forth in this particular uh, case as well. And that is something that cannot be used as per convenience was the message that has come to the fore from the Supreme Court, Anusha, isn't it? Untoward incident, it's the state government which is going to be responsible. Two facets on which I'd like to talk about. One is the intel report. Well, uh, every state wants to put out an intel report to take a decision that they do not want to give out reasons in detail and justify to the judiciary. Whenever it has been about freedom of expression, vis-a-vis -vis movies, uh, bans that we have seen coming in, whether it was about the movie Padmavat or right now the Kerala story which, has been, which was earlier banned in the state of West Bengal, the approach of judiciary has been pro-freedom of expression unless a piece of cinema or art is so offensive to the public sentiments that it cannot be displayed uh, you know only only on those grounds a ban of that nature can be justified if you ask me it was only a matter of time that the ban would have been revoked from the Supreme Court or from any other high courts if this matter was earlier taken now there was another aspect that you were earlier speaking about that can the uh, you know movie uh, really be hauled up for the kind of content that they have put out or the kind of uh, certain anti-community statements which according to certain people in the case involved that Mr. Kapil Sibyl mentioned can the Supreme Court really do on that there's one point about the autonomy of the CBFC that I'd like to reiterate there are various movies which are made in a certain taste and in a certain flavor and there are different communities sections political lines in our country which may or may not like them the discretion of a director to tell the movie the autonomy of the CBFC to pass a movie is something that has been accepted by the Supreme Court and the high courts of the country so even with Padmavat there were certain you know changes that were suggested earlier but eventually it was left to the Central Bureau of Film Certification to decide whether those changes need to be brought in or not and I believe till time comes which is till July this matter would actually become very redundant the fact that there is already an undertaking which, uh, undertaking which has been given that the 32,000 figure is not exact and there is no proper data which is available. Mr. Harish Salve has given that undertaking. That makes it abundantly clear that with those riders and disclaimers, this movie is good to go ahead. Very briefly, I'd like to talk about the state of Tamil Nadu. Well, Tamil Nadu as a state was very smart in the sense that they did not put out a notification. Otherwise, their fate would have been similar to what has happened in the state of West Bengal. That notification would have been stayed by, by the Supreme Court of India. Now, there was a shadow ban of sort, which is the movie, you know, the uh, cinema plexes and the multimedia uh, managers were saying we're not able to showcase the movie because there's a law and order problem. Now, the Supreme Court coming forward and saying that the multiplex owners need to be given some kind of security if they want to showcase the movie. So, in the state State of West Bengal, in the case of State of West Bengal, the order is pretty stark because there was an explicit ban that was put out by the state government. In the case of Tamil Nadu, it's slightly different. And as far as uh, West Bengal is concerned, they had on record in their affidavit uh, mentioned instances where they thought that uh, there would be a law and order situation. They also said they had intel which uh, proved that this could deteriorate law and order situation even further in the state, which is why they took an informed decision of banning the film as uh, the TMC was uh, telling us just a short while ago. But Ananya, the CGI-led bench has come out very clearly and said that prima facie, the material that was placed on record, the evidence,